Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Georgia enacted the Election Integrity Act in March, a Republican-led law that added new restrictions to elections and voting laws in the state. In response, Major League Baseball, or the MLB, moved July's upcoming All-Star Game from Atlanta to Denver. The U.S. bans most monopolies under federal antitrust laws, but the Supreme Court granted the MLB an exemption back in 1922. This effectively shields the MLB from potential competition, like another professional baseball league emerging. Well, introduced shortly after the All-Star Game move was announced, the Competition in Professional Baseball Act is Republican-led legislation that would end MLB's antitrust exemption. Although inspired by the All-Star Game move, the bill itself would not force the MLB to play the All-Star Game in Atlanta. That's the league's decision to make. The House version was introduced by South Carolina Republican Representative Jeff Duncan, while the Senate version was introduced by Utah Republican Senator Mike Lee. Now, supporters argue that the MLB behaves in a way that would be arguably against the law if it were almost any other corporation or in any other industry, but an anachronistic provision unjustifiably shields them. Well, here's that argument in song form. Mm -hmm. Monopolies are illegal in most industries, you know, but not for baseball. The MLB maintains a legal monopoly. New bills in Congress would end that after almost a century. Though it likely won't receive a vote in committee.